This old guy DIY video has to do with a duck blind and I make mine different than anybody else I've seen on the internet so I thought I'd show you my technique. First we'll just walk around the outside. And I've seen a lot of guys on the internet putting this grass mat with the edge up and the tall parts down. In fact, I like to put it this way, it looks more natural and as the stuff falls all over the place, it just looks like a clump of stuff. So now I'll disassemble it and be right back with you. Oftentimes I need to drive a couple of hours and I really don't care to have this grass just blowing around in the wind. So I make mine so the blind can be set up once I get wherever I'm going. And I take a piece of uh, paracord and I run it across the top of each piece of grass mat and you see I just put one of these westward clamps on each side and then on the left side of each panel about a foot from the bottom I just tie a piece of uh, paracord and that's used in the structure of the blind just to tie the pieces together like that and on this boat it's a 15 foot Grumman sport boat and uh, I have eight pieces, basically three for the sides and then one for each end. And you'll see that the blind is made of half inch conduit and then I just have a piece of burlap that I hang on the inside as kind of a buffer to break up the stuff for this cheap grass mat. I got these from Roger Sporting Goods. They're very cheap, um, but they're certainly not the same thickness or quality as those that I had gotten from Cabela's in the past. Blind frame. I just took some half inch conduit and bent it and then in each of the corners of the boat I just made a little block of wood and then put oar locks in there so I can mount my stuff. It's pretty low profile. It doesn't hang up on anything and these oar locks can also be used to hold a board that just goes across the width of the boat and does a nice job holding fishing rods and then I made these things about 42 inches tall, that's about right for me, I'm about 6'2". And I took a piece of rubber and just taped it here on the corner. So when I go to put the sides up, the side is just a 12 foot piece of half inch conduit. And when you drop it in place, that's where it wants to stop first. And then I made it so it's infinitely adjustable. I have this piece of string here on the side. And depending on the height of the people I'm hunting with or what kind of background I have, I can set the height of this thing anywhere I want and in fact I can pull it all the way over towards the middle if I want to so I can cover that center piece completely and I won't show the birds anything but for hauling it out into the marsh it's just a matter of uh, having these two pieces of conduit thrown right inside the boat They just lay right along the side and when I'm going out there I just throw the camo material right inside and uh, then I just put the string on the bow so when I lay the grass mat on the front it just kind of takes the shape of the boat instead of just leaving the bow stick out. And if I'm someplace where it's a very dark background and I don't want to have the grass I can go with just the camo material the burlap and if in fact I want grass I can go with that but uh, this is just a matter of pulling these things out of the oarlocks and that piece then lays down for transport in the boat this one just comes off also I untie my knot up front So those two pieces just lay in the boat. When I get where I'm going, I can set it up in the parking lot if I like, or else I can just go out to the field, throw out my decoys, and do my work from there. But as you see, my oar lock's in the front. And oar lock's in the back. Uh, allow me lots of flexibility without punching many holes in the hull. 
And that's it for this DIY idea. I mentioned changing the height of the shooting rails with these ropes on the end. So my normal position was up on top of that black stop. And as you can see, I just take the rope and I loop it and tie it back. And then if I'm hunting with kids or shorter people, you know, you can set this front rail down to whatever height you may want. Then the other nice thing is if you have to go chase cripples or whatever the case is, uh, it just takes one piece of string and you can lay this right inside the boat. And uh, in that case you're ready to get on the water and it doesn't take a lot of disassembly or anything else. So that's the idea.